Welcome to Lumen Fidei. Let's do this. Just as you enter the transfer room, all the screens light up. Laura's face appears upon one of them. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't played Time Stories, get out. There's spoilers. Unless you don't care, then stay in. Then hang out, because yeah. we're happy to have you. And let us know in the comments, I was spoiled by PPG 2018. <laughs> Hello, agents. Bob seems to be late. I'm going to start the briefing without him. What? As you can see, Transfer Room 17 is rather special. It contains a quantum reliquary. During your training, you were told that it was impossible to bring back an object from your missions. This is generally the case, but Bob bursts into the room. Thank you, Laura. I'll take over from here. Now take turns revealing cards B through F, reading them one by one. All right, Bob, what do you have to say? Bob stares at you and barks. Not bark, in bark, your bark. season yet? <laughs> Come on, get a move on. Your receptacle, the mission. Your receptacles are part of a delegation charged with accompanying Michelle de Ailly, uh, the legate of Pope Martin V, mission to attend a secret gathering Probably for Christian sick. military orders. Sick. Uh, Michelle de Ailly, de, 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 I have no idea. That looks like it should be French and I shouldn't know how to say it, but. It's probably Latin. Oh, right? right? The Ailey. The 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 Ailey. Just call it daily. Daily. Michelle Daly. Oh, no, what's the word that you guys usually use taco. in taco? Taco. <laughs> Michelle Taco. Michelle Taco <laughs> will be your key to infiltrating the religious factions there because, and this is precisely the purpose of your transfer, a strange stone seems to arouse everyone's interest. Seems to arouse everyone. That's part of the wet theme. <laughs> you're, a, you're a heretic, Mike. How dare you say such a thing? Your goal is to locate the stone before them and bring it back here. You will also discover the new travel procedures set up by the TTD, Transfer Technical Direction. Ten time units for your first run, twenty for the second, and thirty for the third, and the following runs. Be vigilant. It radically changes the course of the mission. Yeah. Everyone to your stations. Bob leaves the room without further ado. So doesn't this look like the Borderlands robot? Yeah, it yes. looks like Probius from Heroes of the Storm. Yes. The transfer site. Sam the robot lights up. Hey, Sam. You are going to visit Earth in 1419. It is the end of the... Rec... Re the, I'm going to say Renaissance. It's not Renaissance, but the... Uh, Reconquista? The Reconquista in southern Spain. Yeah, that, yep, southern Spain. Um, two religious communities were in opposition during this period in the Middle Ages, Christians and Muslims. From uh, 914, the Christian kingdoms decided to reconquer the Iberian Pencil, uh, Peninsula and had been taken over by the Mu that had been taken over by the Muslims. This reconquest ended in 1492. That is the only few decades after your that is only a few decades after your transfer. You can see on the other screen your arrival location is Aragon. Is in Aragon. Oh, Aragorn. From Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we're oh going God. in him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> your receptacles are part of a Christian delegation in the Christian territory. And who says Christian says faith? This concept may seem strange to you, but religious faith has been... Uh, omnipresent in the transmigration human history. During his speech, your eyes are drawn to the Rebecca Cory, the Rebecca Cory, Rebecca, Reliquary, Reliquary, Reliquary. <laughs> <laughs> At its center, you notice a greenish, almost organic, spongy matter. Oh, I like green stuff. It's hard to drag your eyes away. Cool. Also, again, part of the wet theme. Okay, kids, in your casins. You're running late on the official timing. Here are the details of your receptacles. All right, we have three stats, as per usual. How's it going, Despaminite? Spam. During this mission, your receptacles have the following characteristics. Purple, which is a foot with a Hermes boot. Dexterity. Uh, a sword, which is red, is combat. And a yellow uh, chat symbols, but with crowns, is diplomacy. Diplomacy is the ability to behave correctly, to make a good Sweet. public impression. Also know that a receptacle can only use one weapon test, uh, one weapon per test during combat. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. There's also a special ability. Each receptacle has a special ability. Using it requires spending one blue, like this. Sweet. But no time units are spent. 
Before each run, as soon as the receptacles are chosen, place on them the specified number of blue. Moreover, agents reintegrating their receptacle after dying come back with the maximum number of blue tokens. Okay. I'll let you handle the usual last preparations. Off I go to get drained at the red light pub, concludes Sam before leaving. Wait, is Sam the robot? Yeah. Sam. All right, final preparations. Place the group's <clears throat> faith table card on Codex 1 and keep the icon reference slash special rules card close at hand. Special rules. Holy shit. Uh, two, place four planned cards face up on their allocated spaces. So pretty. It's beautiful here. Welcome to Spain in the time of the world. It's not even Spain any right now. Yeah, it's Aragorn. Maybe Frodo will be there. Oh, there's only one location. Oh, there's two locations. There's also the beach. Three. Take the group token on the beach. Woo! At your arrival location. The beach. There's only two locations. Yep. Uh, four. The mission successful slash failed cards face down on their allocated spaces. Oh, there's three. This one, right? Yep. Um, Is this the items? Items are the green one. That's right. Five. Uh, the time tokens on ten TU. Yep. Got there. Uh, six item cards on their allocated space. Got Ooh, very thin that item deck this mm -hmm. time. The season. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> The seasons start up. Laura's final words are fading away. Lastly, as part of the transfer procedure of an artifact to the agency, the agents in the intermediate vicinity of the stone must apply the XB42T protocol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope you reviewed this protocol yesterday, as I advised you to. Enjoy your transfer. Nailed it. That's what I'll put next to that. We studied that last night, right, guys? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Good? You done? Uh, before 2T. Before 2T. 2T. Oh, yeah, I nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, we, we read that. Oh, shit. I know I read T2. Oh, me too. <laughs> shit. That's the one when you see a, a dog, you got to pet it, right? Each player chooses a receptacle. Don't forget to take its heart, uh, its heart and its special ability, blue. All right, so one second. Before we do that, I'm just going to read this stuff on here. So yeah. Sure, sounds good. So um, there is... Okay, so we have our three stats, which you can see here. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Christian faith, and I think, what is that called? Imp impiousness. So then there's a faith table, upper degree and lower degree. Uh, discard one time token to use the ability. Discard this location after you visited it. That's what that symbol means. It is impossible to escape a lock card without first passing the test. We know that. Yep. And a shield. Faith table. The heart token placed on the faith table at the beginning of the run indicates the group's faith. Some degrees give one plus one or two plus two. Additionally, dice on all tests made by the receptacles mm. of the corresponding belief only. Interesting. Example, the group is pious. Maria can roll two additional dice when she makes the test. Is that on here? Oh yes, we all have different religions for our characters. Okay. Oh, sweet. Um, your faith will vary over the course of the adventure. That means up, that means down, nice and simple. Sweet. During a test, adjust the degree before the first roll if needed. This modification applies only once per test only. Uh, when you take an item, adjust the faith immediately if needed. If you discard the item, the degree doesn't change. Faith can't rise above pious and can't go below her uh, Did I say heretic. That? I don't remember saying that. Don't forget to take its heart. <laughs> and then we got some locations can only be visited once per run. When you leave a location with this icon, um, put this location away into the box instead. Uh, now go back to reading a uh, base F card. Brad! How's it going, Brad? Brad! Okay, let's take so out these dudes. Each player chooses a receptacle. Oh, they're so sick. I won't finish reading because it, it's stuff to do with after we choose. Oh, sweet. We're so sick. Exterminate them all, he says. Enthusiastic young nun, a noble Spanish That's lady, cool. or an occultist knight, or what I have in my hand. I have France, Francisco, a contentious... I have a Teutonic knight and a zealous servant. Secretary? It says secretary, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, secretary. That used to mean something different in the nah, church? Nah, man, they all do shit. <laughs> you need someone to file for folders? There you go. Yes, my lady. 
Arriba pronto subito, por vos severe, he says. Oh, that's a, that's a good comment. Should we put Lumen Fidei in the, in the top? Sure, we can Just do that. Just in case somebody's like, Time Stories, which one is this? It is in the game, t it's in the Twitch title, but right. I'll put it here as well. Yeah, might as well. Lumen! Ooh. Oh my god, Jean de Crayon? His ability is fucking great. Can you read his ability? No, I haven't read really any of them yet. <laughs> You took them all away from me. Well, you, you put them down. I was making a comment. <laughs> Noble Spanish lady. Enthusiastic young nun. This guy's flavor text is exterminate them all, which is really scary. This one, when the sun rises, it it's for everyone. Well, I kind of want her. She seems nice. Life is a path of tears, which leads to, leads up to light. Ooh. Oh, that kind of dark. <laughs> oh, she's weak as shit, though. One shield? What is this? Fucking... Well, luckily on the YouTube video, it's uh, there's a thumbnail that says Lumen Fidei Part 1, Justin, Mike, Caitlin, so it's very hard to accidentally yeah. click on this video. And be like, what are they playing? Here, oh, you're still reading these? Yeah, I'm sort of just... Cool. Maria galvanizes other receptions making come to them, each of them this getting additional die. Amazing. This one's kind of cool. Somebody needs this. Yeah, this he's, one's fucking amazing. He's pretty badass, isn't he? He only, he only gets one of the blue, though. He only gets I used mean, that, that once. Makes, uh, that makes sense. It's a very strong ability. Ooh. Raymond can use this ability of a receptacle or ally on his space. So, I mean, if you were on the same space as this, he could use that. Yeah. I think I might make it easy on you guys. I'm going to be the noble Spanish lady. She's pretty sweet. She has four diplomacy, two agility, and one attack. Mm -hmm. uh, only one shield, so you're going to have to come save me, you burly knights, you. Uh, two abilities, uh, and then my ability is discard one to automatically pass a diplomacy test. Yeah, that seems good. Well, then maybe I'll just be this fucking badass then. I, I'll be him, I guess. Or should we have two badasses? We probably want someone who's a bit fast. We probably want to like learn what we're going I'll up do against Franci first. I'll do that one. Francisco? I'll do Francisco. Cool. Francisco. Put the other ones away. How many? You get one blue? What's get your ability, two Mike? Two blue. Uh, discard one of these to use uh, automatically pass dexterity tests. Nice. You're like me, but different. Um, so remember what it said before is if you use this ability, you don't have to use time for that Correct. ability. Correct. You just do it. You just do it. Okay, so now determine the group's faith degree. Add the number of Christian faiths receptacles. One versus two. Eat and it, subtract loser. the number of imper it, the imperious. Yeah. Refer to the table below and place one heart token on the line of the faith corresponding to your results. So here we go. So we're at minus one. One. So we're just here. Yep, yeah, that checks out. What is that? What does that say? Pentient. So you guys get plus one die. On, on all your tests. Own, just Sweet. Tests. I don't believe in God, is what I say. Um, read out loud the special rules card. Did it. Nice. Yeah. Um, then flip the card over and place it on Codex 4. Um, as to be able to consult the icon during your runs. Uh, designate the first time captain. The player chooses the base and puts it next to the board, then opens the beach location. The time captain reads card A out loud, and so the adventure begins. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's so beautiful. Oh, Mike. <laughs> no matter what they say. Oh, this, oh, this is a big location. This is a big location. All right, the beach. The um, beach. The beach. Oh, these guys in a tent. Discard this location <laughs> so, after you visit it. You can't keep your eyes open. A dazzling light blinds you, leaving the sound of the Which waves location? and the wait, cries. Wait, 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 We discard. We don't go back to the beach? No, not, not, for, this, not. not for this run. Um, like you can't you. keep your eyes open. A dazzling light blinds you, leaving the sound of the waves and the cries of the seagulls to fill your mind. Your eyelids finally rise and you discover the sea stretching as far as the eye can see. 
and overhanging the sturdy fortress of Penascola. You get off your mounts. On your left, his eminence's luggage are crammed in the back of his wagon. Meanwhile, the Popple Legate exchanges a few words with a crusader kneeling before him. In the center, two knights from the fortress approach your delegation. On the beach, several cellars and, uh, and Bedouin tents swamp the outskirts of the village, sprawling away from the foot of the castle. Oh, that was both of these. What would you, what would you think be, be feet running away? Dexterous. Dexterous. This might be dexterous. The problem is God doesn't believe in me. So I'm going to do this one. Is that a Julie I hear? <laughs> That's... How's it going, Sleepy? Good. I was on the phone for a while, too. Nice. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. This was the good one for me to go with. This one's literally just like, he's like, it's lovely. And then he tells me about the castle that's behind me. Um, it was, it belonged to the Knights Templar. It was... Entrusted to this dude's order by Pope John the 22nd, more than a century ago. And then, as soon as the legate is ready, he's going to accompany us to the charter house. Nice. Um, Mine had an old blind man that I had tea with, and then it offered me to steal his dagger at the cost of worshipping Satan. I'm going to, so this is God, this is Satan, just so we all know. Makes sense. I mean, it, it, it's a pentagram. It is a pentagram. Um, this space required two agents to be on it to get these two items, unless your friends, <laughs> unless oh, your friends, Francisco, and amazing. then you just get them. <laughs> what are they? Fabulous. Um, <laughs> beach space. One. Uh, so uh, the 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 task on there is the first task. You have to do it all in one time unit. If you don't do it all in one time unit, though, you don't pass the test. The first agent has to pass uh, a, a talking, a diplomacy to distract the guards. The second one has to, agility. Has to do agility yeah. to steal the items. Nice. Uh, I think it was four and one, I think was the, the numbers. But, cool. like, or, be Francisco. but or just be Francisco and then you just fucking get them. Um, so the first item I got was a copy of the Papal bull lifting the vow of silent from Lord Amir de Vigan. Um, Lumen, the, the name Lumen of this game, that. the name of the fucking the game. The papal bull lifting the vow of silence from Lord Anaheim de Vignan. We, Pope Martin V, hereby liberate Adamar de Vignan from the vow of silence weigh on him so that he can reveal in the presence of the legate, Mikkel de, de Taco, any knowledge <laughs> he has on the matter in which the legate will question him. Taco. Taco. Okay. Taco. Spicy. Um, and then a plan of Acre. Oh, cool. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. Alright. I don't know what it's supposed to go. Let's put it up here. Sure. Let's put it where everyone can see them. Alright, should we use a time unit to view some other, visit some other places? Mm. Yeah, sure. I we... think I don't want to go to the priest, so I'm going to go here. To... I think no, no, I'll go to the priest. To the priest. <laughs> yeah. I'll join here. No one's going to talk to the knights that came up to us? Kaylin did. Oh, guess. did you? Okay. Boom goes the time of the house. Is that 14 months? The OC sound? Brad? There's OC no Brad. That's weird. That is weird. But thank you so much, OC Brad, for 14 months at the Golden 14 Table. 14 months? Uh, is that worth it? Yeah, let's do it. Is this going to be another fucking um, toilet plunger? Nah, we can trust this guy. All right. We're spending two time units, Mike. Good for you. <laughs> you got item two from it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So 
we can either deliver this to oh, Temple Nine. Oh shit! What's up, Mike? So I got an uh, an ally. Nice. It's the priest. Okay. Um, he has a a mission that he needs to be. Um, this card represents an ally that accompanies a single receptacle. Upon getting it, the group becomes <whistles> Pintus. I don't want to say that I'm mad at you for this, but I'm mad at you for this. <laughs> uh, sorry? <laughs> I had no option. It wasn't like you couldn't take the card. It was just like, take the card. <laughs> you don't understand, Mike. I am just a noble Spanish lady that worships the Dark Lord Satan, so I am quite upset right now. Um, so his objective... Uh, Michael Dill Ali is is in Pensacola to find a certain Admar de Vinten, which I think was the no, name that was that on was, this guy. That Michel de Alien. Yeah, it's him. Uh, he's the papal that we have to Yeah, he's the big guy. He's the guy. He's the big guy. Sweet. He's the important one. He is the important one. No, he needs to find saying. this guy. Alright. Um uh, he has an ability. Nice. Uh, the le uh, legate is a representative of the Pope in charge of a mission of the utmost importance. Uh, Michel de Ali is therefore highly respected for his piety. Each diplomacy test made by the accompanying receptacle gains two successes automatically. Wow. Dang. Um, Michael or Michelle leaves the group if the accompanying receptacles make makes a test which causes the faith marker to go down. Oh sweet. Okay. He's just like fuck. So guys. we got a no Satan on this trip. No now. Satan. Only me. The accompanying receptacle. Oh, okay. So you guys oh, can make sweet. tests. Hey, what's your plan, Dark Lord? But the group gets the group gets the infidel. So if we go down to this level, yeah, he's, he fucks off. Then he or heretic degree. So either of these two. Sounds makes sense. Yeah, that's what this symbol means. Um, either case, discard this card. Okay. All right. So be good. We can be bad, but not too bad. But not too bad. We had to be a bit good, a bit bad. A bit good, if you bit if you're bad. bad, be a little bit good to just bring it back up. Uh, a we bit. had tea with this guy. Spent two time units, and he gave us this, which we can either deliver to his friend Ptolemy, or we can uh, use this to gain him back an ability token. Hmm. Uh, we're done on the beach. Should we go to the chapter house? Yeah. I I guess. Yeah. Where's that die? Right here. Right Watch this. There. I'm gonna roll one. A two is standard. You guys can't get mad at me. <laughs> two is standard. You can't get mad at me. This one is discarded. I imagine it comes back in the next game, though. Yeah, it's only per. And then... Oh, shit. Caitlin, this is for you. Boop. We get rid of this, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll probably find a new location here, hopefully. Or we'll just run out of time. Yeah. Under a blazing sun, you and the two knights you met on the beach, dudes I talked to, enter the castle. After showing you your room, your host takes you to a large, cool room with walls covered in arabesques and azuleos. Ooh. Uh, upon your entrance, faces turn and stare. Time stops. After a nod from your host, conversation resumes once again between the different characters. The Grand Master of the Order of Montessa... Romero de Corbera turns his eyes towards you and beckons you to approach. At his side, a man with a deeply lined and weary face looks at you scornfully. Uh, you seem to have interrupted his triad. And in the distance, you discover a face of Clément de Gibelin, a grand hospital. Tired? Yeah, he's my dad. Who came from Rhodes in the same desert okay. as you. None of the ones we have to go to? Well, I think Mike should go to this guy. Yeah, I agree with this. Because he has the church dude. Sure. Hi, Julie. Oh. Oh. Max Vega has agreed they are essential to me. They'll help me decide whether the not supposed to read those out loud. No. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> this reason is only a pretext of the for the same reason. It's been discussed in the city's actual information about the stone. Do you have to do stuff? Or you don't have to do stuff on the card? No. There you go. Ooh, the scriptorium. That does not stay. Um, I'm going to discard this. Uh, can I please have item 20? What? 
taking items from me. Heck yeah, I'm the best. My dad, I trust my dad. Here, let's put that back in. Oh, oh, that's when Lufus, Lucifer was thrown into the abyss. <laughs> okay. I have to do, I can choose to do something bad here. No, don't. But we're, uh, we're going to run out of time. Do we no, want... we're not. God is with us. You're not playing that character right. <laughs> She's confused. She's young. <laughs> this one. So I'm just going to read this as well. The Scroll of Antioch. Antioch is a devil, I think. Julie, Google that for me. Oh, we forgot to take our actual health. I didn't take my health. We both have our health. Thus, when Lucifer was thrown into the abyss, the stone he carried on his forehead fell into the Garden of Eden. Adam offered it to Lilith, his first wife. Then, as she considered herself to be the equal of Adam, Lilith fled from Eden, for she refused to be submissive. Come on. In her flight, she took the stone, and calling upon the Lord, she grew wings and abandoned Adam in Eden. Faced with Adam's complaints, God sent three angels to convince Lilith to come back. Is it Antioch a city? That could also be the case. I do not know. Antioch is a city. Um, she refused to obey their command. To punish her, God condemned her to see all of her children die at birth. And we say Satan's the bad guy? <laughs> Fleeing, she encountered the demon Samael, and she settled with him in the valley of Jehanam. The demon took the name of Adam Belial and taught Lilith the power of the stone. This is metal as shit. This guy just told us the council <laughs> meeting will begin tomorrow morning. Oh. We we're waiting for a few guests, and then he gave uh, us. This one you can steal. He, he gets distracted. You can steal something from him. If you with want. agility? Yep. Okay. But so maybe then I say we look at one of these locations. I think so too, uh, and I think we just remember that. Yeah. So cool. center card, you can steal. It's item number nine. Nice. That's a good number. Upside down, it's a six. Three of those, the devil. All right. Which one do you want to go to, Caitlin? You can choose. Underground uh, passages, stables, or the scriptorium. Ooh. Let's uh, see if this guy's anywhere. It doesn't say. This guy might be in the scriptorium. So sure. maybe we can find where this quest Let's leads. Do it. Sure. Alright, roll a two or else chat gets mad at you. Alright. Uh scriptorium. No one did anything bad? Good yeah. job, guys. We're good. So I mean I found some words that literally worshiped the devil. Like for you. After a long moment in front of the scriptorium's door, a stooped monk in search of his, uh, his bunch of keys looks at you suspiciously through the half-open door. Is, the, is this door never closed? Oh. Well, yeah. come in. If you're here, it must be for a good reason. Yeah. The man turns around and wanders over to his occupations. Uh, you then enter a poorly lit fi room filled with shelves piled, with, piled high with books. On the left, a table is charmed, is crammed with parchments and books of all kinds, and a human skull is used as a paperweight. Sweet. Um, on the right side, a young monk stands working at his lectern under candlelight. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, no. You are not from the Citadel. Oh, a clue. Uh, I mean, it just says the accompanying re receptacle makes a test which causes the faith marker to go down. So I could try it. You could try it. I mean, I might as well. Are we going to stay here and attempt a test? Uh, but you take two rounds to do it anyway. You can't do it in one round. Oh, you could do it in one round. If I rolled it, because I get two really and then... good. Wait. You only get two die. And you have, that's three. It's to get, it's to pry open the chest to get item number six. I, mean, I can try reading over, this is a dude, he's a monk, and he's like, hey, you're not from the Citadel, if you sleep here tonight, don't go to the underground passages. After nightfall, it's weird. And then I could uh, worship Satan to read over his shoulder. Um, I mean, to get I... An item. I get to try it so once like, anyway. Well, here's right? the alternative. No, this time unit? 
No, because no. we could also instead leave. So I we choose we... to either stay or look at another location. But we're, I mean... So yeah, only a three screws us. Right. I mean, a two still kind of screws us. But we can at least see cards and get information. We can. Yeah. I I've, think we get as much as information as possible on the on a ten on yeah. like with only ten time units like this is. I vote we keep exploring and figuring out what sort of sure. devil work is happening here. Do you want to so, go to the underground passages where it gets weird, or do you want to go? To I the want stables? to do the stables. I think. Okay. Um. So this one was to get item six. I don't. Mine know was item sort... twenty five. I usually don't try to write those down, but. All right, Mike. Now just don't roll a three. Oh, it's my roll, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, Mike, Mike, you're so good at this. Fuck yeah. I'm the best at this. Way better than Justin and I. Come on. I'm not very emotionally fragile. You know that. Well, I think we all of us go to that one. Right. Which one? Note, all of you must visit card B before going to the other cards. Oh, there you go. <laughs> In this vast stable, three knights of the Order of Santiago stand guard around a beautifully crafted wagon. Wagon? Behind the gratings of one of the wagon's doors, you can see the face of an old man uh, who beckons you to approach. From the back of the carriage emanates an intoxicating fragrance, a subtle blend of musk and myrtle. I will read this out loud. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, good God. Huh? The Knights of Santiago, obviously drunk, draw their weapons and approach. <laughs> One of them shouts, go away or you will pay for it. Another in a steadier voice cuts in. Ask them to bring us some more plonk. Raul will probably collapse before finding the reserve. You can avoid the combat by immediately leaving this location. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, three skull, five skull, two heart attack. <laughs> If you have item 10, discard it to bribe the guards. Once you have passed the rules for this test, you can visit the rest of the location. I mean, I can remove an entire pile. I have a one in fight. I think discard removes a whole pile. I think it's the next pile in line. I don't think it's... I don't think you get to choose the pile. Um, so it's to remove... A whole pile. I think she gets to choose because it says a whole pile. It says a whole pile, not... Yeah. That's the hard part of time stories. Yep. They don't really specify. Yeah. Uh, I think we just try to visit a new location and I'm going to roll a one and it's going to be good because there's no way we're going to fight these guys and win. Yep. All right, watch this. Fuck. Justin! <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, yep. Uh, hmm. It seems you still have a little trouble with the new TDD guy. There we go. Yay, 12 months. Oh, people skills. 12 months of the golden table. Where is <laughs> oh the list? Oh my god. Where is the list? It's It's got to be somewhere. It's uh, I was writing out over there cuz I had somebody Did we Did you guys lose the There's no way. No, it's just going buried under something. It's just buried under something. Nobody gets a golden table. They lost the list. I mean, we can figure it out. I had it on that table, I thought. Yeah. I probably moved it somewhere over here though, and it's just buried. Sure. Meeple Skills, thank you so much for your support. You rule. Amazing. Let's, let's make a new list. <laughs> just right now, Meeple Skills, congratulations! You're the first person. I think Brad's gonna riot. It's it's no no. Not that we'll find it. We'll find it. But thank you so much for your continued support, Meeple Skills. Thank you so much. Twelve months of the Golden Table. People like you that make this stream what it is. Um, it seems to have a little trouble with the new TDD guidelines. It's only natural. It can be unsettling at first, but it does allow a real energy is saving and increasing the success level by 8.42%. Okay, snuggle up in your cases. We'll relaunch a transfer. Transfer. Here you go again. Reset the game. Discard everything. And then we go to 20 time units. Do we open up a new chapter? Nope. Not yet. Damn it! Time stories! What do you mean? I don't know. I don't I think this is exactly how it's supposed to go. Oh, I'm sure it is. This is just... Ooh, maybe it's because you have the hug emote. I love this emote. Hug the table. It's so cute, though. Okay. Anybody else? I need I item three. I think she's three. pretty useless. Where's item three? Oh, item three is oh, That here. one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's all right. Because I can get those two items again. The, those are the ones we had to deliver, right? Yeah, those are pretty sick. I mean, unless someone else wants to play Francisco. No, I'm, I'm good with this. I could try Francisco. Sure. He seems fun. 
Um, I saw no diplomacy check, so I don't think she's worth it yet. That's fair. I saw some diplomacy checks for stealing stuff, but... Oh, those are all foot checks for me. All right, well then once we fail this 21, I'll probably do a new Time Stories video for YouTube. Because this was only 34 minutes. I don't feel good making that our first Time Story no. video. I mean, Especially because we started playing at 18 minutes. <laughs> That's where it sits here. Um, yeah, I don't know. We got the beach. Discard so. one. I mean, I like, I'm, I'm, it's between these two, I think, for me. Maria or Raymond. This was the only one where we got an item. Yes. In this one, right? Oh, no. This I'm going to go. For two time units. He gave us that weird drink. I'm going to go with Raymond because he is very well-rounded. Sure, sounds sure. good. He's not really good at anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to hear. Everybody loves Raymond. He's so not very good at anything. we are still right down here. Sweet. Okay, do we want that drink? Uh, so you're going there, and then you have to go here after. To get the dude? To get the dude. Yeah, I can get the dude. I mean, we don't know where he goes yet. I mean, we could not waste that and just... But then if we find where he needs to go, then we'd be kind of... Mm -hmm. uh, what was this? I mean, the other that alternative was the spend... was is if someone... Actually, like, even if you maybe take him... I can't. Why? Because I think you need to be... Oh, you, Do you need, need to, to be, be a good I Christian? I think you need to be... Because, oh, maybe if, not. Well, then maybe it would also be good because mine is four, which is a lot of the stealing ones, which also require a loss in... Okay, I'll see I'll see if I can get them. Sure. I don't, I don't actually remember. I'll remember this time. Do we want to spend that two time unit to get that? I don't think... What was it? It was a potion that we could drink to refill a skill. Yeah. Or it was something that we could deliver to somebody. Oh, it was, there was a... Yeah. There's a side quest. Side quest. I mean, is it, is it a fucking plunger? I don't know. I mean, I think that's it's a good item, especially for her is, ability, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true. Spending two time limits to not make two attacks in the future. Yeah, I'm into it. I mean, I can, I can copy her ability if I'm on the same spot as well. So then yours is actually even stronger, right? Yeah, because then... Yeah, it's just take, it's just take him. There's no, there's no prerequisite. But if I do something bad... Need items. Cool. But you got to spend that time unit. Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll have items four and five, please. Oh, yeah, because you automatically get them. But isn't that funny? <laughs> I was, like, reading yeah. through the whole thing. I was like, ah, oh, shit. This yeah. seems like a... Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of work here. <laughs> uh, so these two were nothing, right? This one was... You could steal a knife from him. Mm. But we have a walking knife right here. It's true. And a copy of the walking knife. Yeah. And this guy literally just said, hey, when we're done here, we'll take you sure. here. Um, I think it's Caitlin's role for time, Captain. Nice, Caitlin. Good enough. That'll do. We're not on the beach anymore. Not and beach. never again. Is there anything worth doing in here? You know what we should do? We should just do it. Just to keep track, because it feels like there's going to be a lot of those. A lot of the, you're sure. not allowed to come back here. And the yellow is not being used for anything, so. All right, so this is the one where I got the story of Lilith. All right, uh, this is one where you can steal something. You need the dexterity to do it. I have four feet. You, you might as well, well do there. it. because you. I actually have six feet. Yeah. Do it. Uh, no, because it goes down first. So oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It'll go down first. Oh, look. Um, what was this one? That's how I got the, the cool metal ass demon script. Was I it read. bad? I had to pay. No, 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 no. I just to give him this. So maybe we, do we give it to him again? I don't think we do. Cause I remember what it was. Oh no, it goes up. If you give it to him, it goes up. Oh sick. Okay. Well, oh, I'm going right. to, I'll do mine first then because of the order of operations. Yeah. This was this man. Oh, it was my, it's my, I'm first player. All right. You are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but do we go down this way? That's how I'm reading it, yes. Sure. All right, so I have one attempt at this. We are spending a time unit here this turn, so if anyone else wants to go look at anything else, now's the time to do it. Um, I won't, I'll give him this. I think 
think you got there. I think I did too. Yeah. Uh, can I please have item nine? Oh, go ahead. And then we go back up. Oh, that's from the box. Nice. Okay. So now we have choices to make. The stables we don't want to go to. No. Until we get... I mean, we could both use our things to destroy two of those lists and just... I still think it's not... I, let's, go, I, let's go to underground because we didn't see it. Yeah. The other thing is we could look over the dude's shoulder as he's reading, but I think that's just going to give a story. Yeah. 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 Underground Passage. Oh, it's my turn anyway, so yeah. my Underground Passage. Well, we choose as a group. You just have yeah. the final vote. Underground Passage. All right, Mike, roll that die. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mike. Mike, you're so good at Mike luck. You're very good at rolling dice. We know this already. We know this already. Amazing. I cheat. Well, yeah. How? You'll never know. Yeah, you stack the die. You weigh it. We do stack. I do stack the die. You stack the die. The trick die. I, I really quickly... Right, you just kind of like hold it and go. Try to put these out, Mike, and I'll read. I just. No, it doesn't work that way. By a light of deeply worn, by a flight of deeply worn stone steps, you penetrate the bowels of the castle. Penetrate. Oh. Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> Very quickly, the tunnel splits into two. The first one seems to sink deeper and deeper towards the sea. Uh, you perceive the sound of crashing waves in the distance, and the walls drip with a saline moisture. The other tunnel opposite you leads to a row of filthy cells. Probably with heretics, no doubt. On your right, there is a vaulted room that is apparently disused if the cobwebs are anything to go by. There are traces of footsteps in the dust on the ground. Uh, I think... Mm, I feel like this guy is in the cells. The guy he's looking for. Okay. That's, that's a guess of yeah, mine. Yeah, I'll follow this. <clears throat> this is exactly my suspicion. Ah, night! Ooh! You know how those guards say they were there was a someone Nailed escaped it. and wasn't like, looking for something? Yeah. He's dead. Can I have items seven and ten, please? Are those bandits? Six. And she's locked there. Seven, seven and eight? Seven and eight? Seven and ten. Seven? Oh, ten was what the guards were looking for. Yes. This is what the guy died with. Um, so nailed it. Um the guy here is the the Amir del Vitali. Yeah. Fucking nailed it. So immediately I read this card. If I have, if Michael or if Michelle de Ali is there, so this is still part of the same time unit. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Yep. I assume get rid of this one. Yep. And then I will. Can I have three dice? And I will fight to get rid of. That's nice. Nice. Nailed it. Let's She's never not... go back there. Did you get anything for it? No. Nope. Fuck. So that would be one time unit. I can do something. Uh, can... This is part. This is not part of yeah, the but, time unit. But Caitlin spent one time unit, so you and I have an additional action. Oh, do we? Yeah. So this one's solved. I kick those so it's ass. this item or if you have this person. So it's either or, so we don't need both when we come back. Cool. We oh. can either have... I can also look at this one to see what it is. Oh, because you have the item, yeah. but you don't have him. Yeah. That's fair. It's probably just a different storyline. I'll look at it. This doesn't give me anything. Uh, it gives me a bunch of story. Or is this maybe only one of these we can do? I don't know. He dies in my card. Okay, then I'm not going to do mine. Because <laughs> mine keeps the story going. Oh, so we don't want him then? Well, mine allows us to... He tells us something. I didn't actually read what it said. Yeah, yeah. But we can then... One agent can get closer to hear what he's saying, and we do that card. Of note, so of this, so I found a key, an mm -hmm. old key with a little snake on it. Sweet. Which Can I, represents I mean, Satan, just so we all know. And then a cask of, uh, a, a carafe of wine is found in the underground passages. It looks like two people were drinking, and one of them's fucking dead. Sweet. I met some bandits. Yeah, you slaughtered them. 
Yeah. I saw they were coming up and you just like threw your sword down through three of them. <laughs> oh, it's happening on your card, Mike. Give us the synopsis. Well, you can read this one too because you're on the same space as me. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it's good straight. It just doesn't give us any items. He's possessed. Sweet. He's possessed? No, no, no. no. The, the, the Amer de Vitan. Alright. Yeah. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, me neither. The Vignette? So, objective, find a certain. So, his objective's met. Does it do anything? It doesn't say. Then just keep him. Kids upstairs having a party. Objective. Michael, it's Michelle Di Ali is in Pensacola to find a certain Admir de Vatel. It's, and then he has his ability. Yeah, you just have him now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, until the conditions are met that we lose him, but... Yep. All right, should we go to a new location? What if we go to the stables now that we have wine to bring the guards? Oh, sure, yeah. Where did we got the wine here? Yes, along with a dead body. Sweet. Sure. Got done streaming, so just chilling. Dustin, so I'm gonna get in twos. Well, it is a uh, oh spoilers, eighty percent. Yeah, I no? think it's. I it's mean, three do we them. do it's we four of them? Do next does next time do we try not getting him and just going with that item to get the other storyline? Um, we could try, but let's see what happens when we do yeah. other things. Like, let's see what this man in the cart says at the stables. Oh, we this is. Re I think that's revealed now permanently, isn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't say permanent. I don't think it said permanently. No, it just said reveal that card. One second. I'll just look to check. Because I was there as well. Get out of here. Not on the keyboard, though. Makes me nervous. Whoopsie doodle, not reading anything. La, 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 la. It was this one, so reveal that card, not take. Yeah, that's fair enough. <clears throat> all right, so we're all here. Yeah. Um, how is the streaming trash? Uh, if you have item ten, Caitlin's, right? You can discard it to bribe the guards. Let's do it. So it'll be an action. It's a diplomacy three. Uh. Why don't you try first, Mike? Yeah, I get. Two I get successes. One. I get three dice. And two successes. And you just need two successes. No, Why do I get? Get two successes with this guy. Thank God you got that. <laughs> Would have been embarrassing. Once you have uh, passed uh, one of the tests, discard this card, and then you can access other locations. Um, wait, was the description of these this other This is two? the man whispering, so I'm going to talk to him. I'll go here. Actually, no, I should go here, because this one's probably pickpocketing. This one's probably diplomacy. Caitlin, where do you want to go? I don't know. Let's join Mike. Sure. Oh, we have the key. We have the key. To release him, if you need key, take token, this token, once the man is released. So that means we can go here, but we all have to go here. Sounds good. Sweet. It doesn't say to discard item seven. You need to have a, a key seven. Well, I mean, you don't need to discard a key to open a lock. We just opened up the devil because there's a snake on it, just so everybody knows. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an old man in the cage. Old man... Oh man, look at my life. I'm called Mechalik Mech Mitchell? Mitch it's Mitchell! All right, Mitchell Taco. It's Mitchell Taco. Mm -hmm. Uh you released the old man. On the orders of Lord, El Lord Alvero, I infiltrated the Granada Pla Palace as an astrologer of the Vizier and Regent Ali Almin Al Amins. What do I want? To learn more about the stone. This is how I became aware this of the existence time, of right? Yasmina okay. the Dejinaya. That's who I talked to in here. She's a woman who says she was locked up. Thanks to my knowledge of the Kabbalah, I managed to control her. That's why Alvaro locked me up in here. Come on, follow me and let's free her. You will see she is very talkative. Uh, Mekaldesh heads toward the rear of the carriage. After a few words in a strange tongue, the door opens on its own, revealing Yasmina. He's if if Michael D'Alili is with the group, immediately reveal this card. Otherwise, take item 12 and immediately open location 2 without rolling the time, Captain Die. Mm. 
Uh, did we spend a time unit to come here? Yes, we did. Okay. As the woman emerges at a supernatural speed, she's a vision. Michelle Del Ali steps between your group and Yasmina, forming a cross with t- with two fingers. <laughs> Vade retro satanis. If you could stop these stupidities, the woman replies. Only your agents can believe in them. Instead, you should confess we are all here for the same reason and admit the consortium doesn't like competition, especially with the sinyas. Silence, come on, let's continue our mission. Ignore this madwoman, says the legate who orders you to follow him. Indifferent to De Ali, Yasmina looks at you. He will never acknowledge it, but he's, he's an agent too in a receptacle like you. Can I see that card when you're I am a Sinya, one of the famous big villains. Let's go on time roller. Big villains in a receptacle just like you. Now the choice is yours. No one will ever know. Allow me to come along and let's continue our mission. M- Michelle Daly cannot combat with Yasmina. Either you keep Michelle mm-hmm. Daly or you discard him and take item 12 to recruit Yasmina to your group. Open location two without rolling the tab ca- time captain cool. die. I just need to see some of these. The Cyans, they're the evil group that we're competing against. Yes. Yeah. Does this always go with the naked lady kind of thing? This Justin? Is interesting. Do we go with God or do we go with the evil? I think this is the whole point of this yeah. game. I mean, what a choice. I think, I I think right now we have more of this in our party right now. So this maybe has mean, I mean, we know what he does. We should see what she does. But I mean, like, do we trust the science? But he, so she's saying that he's a receptacle and there, and like these, these are both receptacles trying to do the same thing. choice always go with the naked lady i'm actually not with the naked lady there's what? no naked lady no she's she's pretty hot but she's not naked no but i mean like i just i don't trust her she's in this card mm. Mm. but she told i mean uh, t- she told us the truth lady. yeah but to manipulate us potentially potentially right? but he what his argument is just like no she's evil well like, maybe he's not actually uh in a receptacle. Maybe he's just... What's location two? That's the one that this one would have taken us to as well. But what is location two? We don't know. Two? It just says location two. It's a hidden thing. There goes Julie. She's sick of me. Coincidence that this is card number 66? I think not. Uh, okay, well, I vote him. I'll let you guys do your own votes. I am not upset either way. Uh... I'm just pointing out there, if she's lying to us, I was right. I, I don't disagree that you might be right, but... But I'm also... Listen, you're... I pulled that away for a reason. Because it was shaking? Yes. Yeah, but... <laughs> Just don't shake. Um... Fuck. That's hard. Uh... So, this card... Also leads there. What I was is, here, wasn't I? I was yeah. here. Remind me what our oh, it does. Oh, no. goal is this again. This one does. Like our final goal is Sorry, no, doesn't. this one does. Yeah, if he's not with us. Our goal is that this has to do with this crystal or cube or whatever. So if we, if, oh, if. He's not with us. So if we didn't get him in the beginning yeah. and we use this to find the information instead of him. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't find the information. If we use. Hmm. There's a lot of avenues to this fucking guy. I feel like these two are. There's one avenue to that guy. Well, no, because that's true. You when but when you're in the serotonin, he talks to the guy who becomes possessed. When in the in the the prison downstairs. Oh, in the prison downstairs. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, like the only way to get him is on this space, which is then locked off. Yeah. But that's the only way to get this item. Which then, which in that underground passage would do something different to that guy. Yes. 
I feel like I feel like the whole point of this game is to go down this evil path. Why do you say that? Because it's cool. Because I don't think it's actually evil. But we're. Bringing... I don't. I think. I think it's this God versus the everybody else. I. You know. I'm. I'm with you on this, but at the same time, we're told not to mess with time. A, in oh. all of our missions. Yeah. Yeah. And B. Uh, she's from the corporation, which we've been told over and over again is bad, and she's saying, trust me, oh, right. even though I'm the most oh, evil one. like outside of yes. even this game. Yeah, they're the opposite corporation from us. That's true. Yeah. Oh, she's also... She's uh, a seer ant. That's where... Yeah. That's, that's... But he, she says that he is also yes, one. Yes, we can trust this woman who said she was the big evil one that she's telling the truth. I mean... Yeah. She could be putting all our cards on the table to see if we... Yeah, come to it's, her it's definitely... Okay. So here's the question then. Yeah. If we don't go with her, what do we do next? Well, we go, well no, we go to either, location two no matter what. we go to location two. Why? What? That's really? Because it says, go to location two. Make a choice and then oh. go to that yeah, location. Yeah, we go with one of the two. We either go with <laughs> Shit. God or the devil. Shit. We can't come back from it either. We can't? This is, re this, this is freaking me out that it's in like this red box. This isn't like, we're just doing it. Oh. Oh, Julie Is she texting and driving? No. Did you bring water? Yes. Can I have some? No. Okay. Thanks. Mike's getting stressed out. Well, I made my vote. And luckily we have three people, so we can't tie. Mike, you get to be the tiebreaker, because I vote and go with the naked lady. <laughs> No, you can't do this to me. Yeah, she can. <laughs> she has a vote just like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, but you can't make me go last. This is not fair. So I, I think I think Justin's right. I think we go. I think we have to go. All right. <coughs> we'll never know. I mean, that's not true. We will. That's, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe we go to here and it's just like, too bad. <laughs> that's your choice. We fucked up the game now. Now it's it. That's it. I we have. God, if we get to the end of the time units and we have to go redo all of this shit over again, I'm never playing this game again. You are still in the stable when a flaming arrow pierces the night and ends in Mel in pierces the night and ends in uh, Mechaldesh's chest. The horses bolt and rush out, dragging the wagon in their wake. <coughs> an, immense, an, an immense clamor rises throughout the fortress. Shadows appear from all sides, slaughtering and massacring the garrison. On the staircase in the courtyard, the sentries are fighting to contain a black, the black guards emerging from the underground passages. In the center, the portcullis of the castle has been lowered, thus preventing any chance of escape. On the right, the frightened horses flee the fire raging in the stable and appear to be uncontrolled. You need to go here because someone has to go there and that's yeah. just black figures. <laughs> um, Maybe I'll try here. Yeah, sure. I made the right choice. Did you? Yeah, it's the foot test. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, odds at this. I'm this here, and it's five skulls and one black heart. Oh, good God. I mean, I You can, can just get rid of the skulls. I can no, drink this can. potion. She could, and yes. do it again. But you can just... Oh, you've already done your thing? Yes. When? When she had to defeat, defeat seven skulls and one heart. I don't remember this. There were there were bandits. You were busy doing other things. I was fighting bandits. So should we all spend a t t time unit to do this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Should I drink this? Yeah, go for it. Might as well. Please. What does the black heart do again? Back you uh, automatically, automatically take wounds. damage. Yeah. So you're all you're gonna take at least one damage anyway. Am I? Yep. Okay. Because of the black heart. Unless you get rid of the black heart, but then you have to roll more. Well, this doesn't take a time unit. Yeah. So you can still use the time. Yeah. Unit she can still make a normal that's attack. Fair. Yeah. 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 So when you're done, can somebody hand me three dice, please? Uh, what are we at right now? I don't get any bonuses. No bonuses. Justin. Three dice, here we go. Oh, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, sweet, yeah, you got, you got that. Got nice. there. Uh, I have to do an agility test. I roll six oh, dice, so I'm not going to use my ability. Is yours to unlock this guy? Yes. Does yours say take the token? Yeah, yep. you did. Cool. Justin. Oh, good God, one, two. That's okay. We just have to spend another time in it. Hmm. Uh, can I? Uh, oh no, because me moving doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. So I'm. Can I move here? No, because we all need to be there together. 
Much better. better. Much I did better. That the first time. All right, now we come to time unit to go here. All right. You barely managed to escape from the castle, ravaged by flames and never-ending waves of black-clad warriors. Uh, Mekodesh, mortally wounded by the Sarakin arrow, releases the reins. In his last breath, he painfully indicates you the way to Granada and advises your first go to the priory of Father Rodrigue. Open chapter two. Oh. You're not going to have to do this again. Yay. In the back of the carriage driving you at full speed down the tracks of southern Spain, you find a portable time con convector that immediately gives you ten time units. Yay! Oh, interesting. Set up chapter two. Keep everything in the game as it is. Items, life points, ability tokens, faith tables, and receptacles, to the exception of the state tokens that you must uh, discard. Put away in the box. Failed mission, failed time unit card. Replace it started. with this one. Why is this discarded? Because I used the thing, and then it says discard it for the run. Um, oh, but for this run. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just put it back. Yeah, I can just That's put it back. Um, put away in the box, and so this goes away. Yeah. I'll just put it, like, here. Um, we have some new plan cards. These are replaced. These Yay. are... Put those in the box as well. Uh, you'll take the item back, though. Yeah, I'm taking the item back. And then replace it with these new plans. Interesting. Tarot! Let's go on Tarot. Ah. Hmm. We can't get that cat. He's paired with a buddy online, so. Julie just said we can't get the cat, and I was like, why? Okay. Oh. He has a he has a kitty life partner. Yeah. Then you place sure would quit if you got two. Yeah. <laughs> then place one guard black guard token, the brown ones, and the group pawn on the Aragon space. Well, what? what? Black guard token was one of these. Yep. No, no, the brown, the brown. Oh, brown. Yeah. yeah. On the Aragon space of the plan. Yay. Um, place a second of these tokens on location eleven. Up here. Um, put the black card down, face down on Codex 3. Do you want to read what that does, Mike? Turn it over only when the black guard and the group are in the same <clears throat> place. If several black tokens are in the same place, you encounter them one after the other. So we do do this right... Oh, one second. There's yeah. more. Go. Okay. Place one of these on the current degree of the faith table to remember where we were when we reset. Oh, okay. Uh, and finally, read aloud the Al and Dallas card, and then we put away the Chapter 1 deck and replace it with the Chapter 2 deck. Finally put this card with those of the base. All right, so one second. Uh, Al and Dallas. When moving through Al and Dallas on your wagon, do not spend time unit according to the standard rules. Instead, follow the five steps below when you change the location. Leave the current location and set it aside. Choose and move to a new location. Move the black guard. Roll the time captain die. Open the new location. Change the time captain die. Place this card on Codex 2 when you understood these rules and the adventure goes on. One second. Okay, so there's more specific rules. Move the pawn. So we must follow the roads. Okay. Yep. We're driving around Makes in a sense. carriage. Yep. Um, you go with number. Oh, this goes met. You can, okay, so your journey costs the number of time units equal to the number of locations and obstacles met, including that of the arrival destination. So if we moved, for example, here, it would cost us two time units. Makes Anything sense. in the way, we have to account yes. as a time unit. Uh, you can, of course, pass through location without stopping. Example, moving from Aragon to the primary costs one, two... It costs four time units, it says. Makes sense. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we can't go back. Or is it one, one two, three, four? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Because this looks Either like works. one, two. This one looks like one, two, three, though. Because we should be able to go like this. Oh well, no! One, two, three, four. I'm betting this is a location, right? Well, it is, but there's a road that goes like this. This weird like split. Yeah, you can turn around like the. Type the other. But maybe it is. Maybe maybe Caitlin's right, and it is one, two. So one, two, three, four, both ways. No, the black guards block your progression, and you must stop every time you meet them. Only spend the number of time units necessary to reach them. 
So moving the black guard. Uh, the, the time captain rolls the black die and moves the black guard tokens the number of obstacles and locations indicated by the die result in the direction of the Sweet. group pawn, always using the shortest path. Each time at least one token of the group pawn are on the same obstacle locations, except at the start, reveal yeah, okay. this card. So Wait. right now, we don't reveal it. Correct. I am then going to... Pack up chapter else. one. Here's the, here was the everything else from that. Thank you. So just make sure this is... Spam said we'd I'd enjoy this one, and Spam, you're right. It's pretty cool. So now we choose the location. This, yeah. this map is getting very Monty Python, and it's not nearly silly enough for how this map looks. <laughs> okay. Do we remember everything that guy said? No. <laughs> In the prison? No, 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 Sweet. No, 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 no. All right, where do we want to go? He was like a Templar at one. I think you're now. Yeah. This is all about demons and the devil, yada yada yada. Lilith, Blyle, you know who. Yeah. Uh, I guess we gotta make movement decisions. I mean, let's just go to location ten. And then move the black. Yeah, we move. Then we move the black guard. Okay. Well, then let's move. So location ten looks like a village. Location three looks like this. Oh, but it you catch us was very fast if we only move. Yep. Yeah, we got to choose where we want to go. We have to go to location eight. What? Oh, we're mandatory to stop there. Do both move? Yes. Hmm. I think it's a mandatory stop if we... Uh... Cross it? Yeah. I think... And it covers Granada, so that makes sense. Yeah. So, because Granada's our goal, so it makes Is sense. Is Granada our say. goal? Yeah. And I'm basically guessing these, these locations in between basically just... Our flavor or nothing. Yeah, or nothing. Or plungers. Can someone give me the elevator, elevator pitch for what this is? So Time Stories is a story-based game um, with a lot of spoilers. So if you ever want to play Time Stories, I suggest not watching. Though this is like chapter... Two. No, oh, no, this no, is the, like the fifth one? Fifth or sixth yeah. end. Uh, but basically there's story-based games with kind of like a Groundhog Day thing where agents that go back in time to relive past events and we can take multiple attempts at it to solve a mystery. This current one is about God and the devil. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think... So he'll move on average two spaces. Unless Mike rolls, he'll roll one. He'll move one. Mm -hmm. So do we want to move more than two? Oh, he doesn't move to the end? No, he'll, so he'll move equal to the time cap then die. And he'll move that many spaces towards us on the shortest path possible. So we leave the so, current location and set it aside. Choose and move to a new location. And then... Do we do the new location? Oh no, open the new location is after move the black guard. Yeah. yeah. So we only flip this over when we don't start on the same, like as- So no, turn it over when the group, we have to stop whenever we hit a black guard. When we hit a black guard, not when the black guard hits us. I would imagine it's one and the same. Yeah, I would agree with that as well. Because they move, so if like, we move and then they move into us. I would imagine that's probably each the time at least one token and the group pawn are on the same obstacle or location except at start. Which at is where the, we are. Like, Reveal the black guard card on codex so you immediately apply the effect. So, right now, for example, if we go to location 10 or location 3, two is the most commonly moved spaces they'll go. We will encounter them here and then we will get to do the new location. So, because that's that's set up that way, that, yep. that there's no point, there's no way. On average, we will hit one of those two, or they will catch up to us on one of those two locations. Will those locations have really good shit in them? They might. They might. It's hard to know. So how many locations are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And so, like, our other option is to go here, and then so we're four, but one, two, three, three. if we roll a three, we're hitting this guy anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would we rather take mm. the chance that we'll... Really like why don't we why don't we go to location five? Also, what if we roll a three? Do they move over us? No, they stop, they stop at us, I think. They move towards the shortest path. Shortest path to them, so mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much guaranteed we're gonna be encountering. Why don't we just do Well it? no, we're not guaranteed. I mean, because if we go here, I mean, like it's a three, it's a one out of six chance, right? Yeah. If we go here, we can make this guy go up this path, then we could stop like here, and then like. But what if we? What if we go to location five right now? One, two, three, four. 
We I could. guess that would be four. Yeah, let's have a chance. And it's four from the other guy, too. But we have to go to the Priory, right? So no matter what, if we go here, they're going to get us here, then they're going to get us here. What if we do our quest first and then start doing these sure. other stops? Sounds good. Yeah, you want to spend four time units? Yeah, let's do it. All well, right. it's either four to go there or four to go to somewhere else, so. Like this? Uh, no, he goes, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, the Priory. Uh, Caitlin, you're the Time Master. Sweet. Um, after traveling along a rocky and arid trail, uh, you find an old chapel at the top of an isolated hill, oh. as described by... Mm. Uh, I this don't location know how... only has one card. Location three. Crazy. We should um, go back to it. Imagine that's for most of these. Described by that... How did you pronounce that name? Uh, I said uh, Melchadesh. Sure, we're doing that. Um, the old... Kabbalist. Although dilapidated, it is inhabited. Some 20 people are sitting in the courtyard and under the arcades. A sweating, stout priest with a debonair attitude walks among them, speaking to each one in turn. A very old nun, carrying a heavy basin, makes her way to a makeshift shelter and stares at the newcomers suspiciously. And a few travelers are sleeping on a mattress in the remains of the stable, open to the four winds. A moor in dirty clothes is sitting in front of them on a pile of Berber carpets, playing his oud with an expert ease. Which one do you want to do, Caitlin? Uh, do you have... Are you good at diplomacy? I have two. Well, you're better than me. I say you should go to the nun because she's suspicious of us. So Sounds I'll good. go hang out with this dude. I'm gonna... Justin, you should have gone here. <laughs> oh, my God. Mike should have gone here. Not, oh, man, you should have gone here, Caitlin. Yeah? Do you have to fight her? No, I full healed and got all my blues back. No! Let me go up. Nice. That's it. Uh... Can that only happen once? I don't think so. We can send a time unit to also re -heal. That's true, because I'm not going to be able to... Uh, this yes, that only happens once. Mine doesn't, looks like... Oh. Because mine reveals this, yeah. and it would take me lots of time to do this. Sure, I mean, we can spend um, a time. So it would be better go for Mike to move here. Is it a diplomacy? It is. Nice. I mean, I, yeah, I can also help, because I have four. Yeah, this is, I mean, it only requires three, but I only, I literally... Yeah, you have one. one. Sure. So yeah, let's spend a time unit. Kill. You should so, go here. I will. Yeah. What do we got, Mike? Three. Give me a rundown. What does the card say? Um, his name is Inban Zekmar nice. Zamrik. He's a poet in Granada. Does he know it? He was was a poet in Granada. Uh, he was disgraced, and he's been wandering the roads. Um. He, sing, he starts singing a song about Granada. Cool. Um, time but it's things. a it's a it's a hint on how to get into the city is what this is. Mm. Um, so I got I'm gonna get two successes. Yep. Out it. there. Nice. Entering Granada is almost impossible. The black guards survey the neighboring valleys. There are guards watching the roads, tracks, and paths surrounding the city. With all due respect, your appearance <coughs> is your task. Ewa can help you. Her lair is difficult to find, but these few verses will guide you more surely than a map. Follow the southern ro road, and then after beholding the one which turns with the winds, take the eastern path until you find its twin. She lies not far from there. So going into location five, and then like... <laughs> so head south, after behold, um, follow the southern road, then after beholding the one which turns the wind. This. Mm. The windmill. Mm -hmm. Go uh, east. Take the eastern path until you find its twin. So location so five. five. Location five. Yep. Solved your riddle, you dumb idiot. I'm gonna just write that down. <laughs> cool. Location five. You are. Should we do that? And then she'll disguise us. Yeah. Or have a secret path in. Maybe. Maybe there's another card and there's a path that goes up the path. Maybe. Yeah. 
Now, are we missing all kinds of shit here, do we figure? Are there items we may need later? I don't know. It's, there's only one like... card. So, oh, oh. so it's reel a card by placing a face up on the space of your chosen. Once the card has been solved, change the location. Following these rules. Oh, for location three. three. I feel like it's bad. I think we just go to location five. One, two, three. Yeah. I mean, I'm into it. I'm into it, too. <coughs> Roll those dice, Mike. That Mike luck. Nah. So it's all right. This guy's, so this guy's now the fastest path this way. Yep. And this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's have him go the long way, because we can choose. Yep. All right. Location five. Ooh. Location eight also had only one card. Location eight. Oh. After several days of riding through a variant countryside, you discover an increasingly arid landscape. At the turn of the path, you come across a ravine where down below a ragged old man is gesturing, shouting, and parading in front of a small pack of <coughs> attentive dogs. Um, his makeshift camp is a few meters away on the edge of a pond surrounded by stone cliffs. Why don't sure. we go here and then Kaelin goes to the dogs? Uh, no, the dogs are... This one. No, that's the pond. Where the, the dogs Reagan... are in the picture. Though. I know, but it says, At the turn of the path, you come across a ravine where down below a ragged old man is gesturing, shouting at his dogs. Yep. And then the next card... His makeshift camp is a few meters away on the edge of a pond surrounded by stone cliffs. So you go to the pond. Cool. Are there dogs in that picture? Dressed in rags and waving a pillow stick, the old man with no. crazy eyes harangues his audience. Ah, some say I died in 1738, but there's nothing but deception to set up. He was after me for my book. <laughs> yes, they do exist and they control time. Your only pawns on the chessboard, they take away the man. Fuck. Oh, we get to not do his riddle right. We didn't do his riddle right? No, this is not Ewa. <laughs> this is just some crazy man. They're taking away the madman, the only ones that know, but always escape them. Just switch the numbers. 1914, and here you go, 1419. I mean, this one, this one is... Nope. Hmm. Oh! He knows. Oh my goodness. He knows what? He knows things. Oh, yeah. Okay, this gets uh, one regular, and then right next to it, one black heart. And then. Are you locked there? No, I'm not locked here. Oh. But it says, uh, I'm at his little light camp, and we must make. It says, each agent must make the test individually. I feel like you guys need to come here. Sure. Um, so don't spend a time unit, we'll spend it. Oh no, no but she yeah, she spent a time unit and then we move over during yeah. that time unit. Because it says once the test is passed by all agents, the group goes to location eighteen without rolling the time captain die. Mm, this and is the path. Ewa. And agents who have finished the adventure of the Prophecy of Dragons have a feeling of deja vu, they can roll two extra dice on each roll of this test. Neat. So we'll go, Kaylin, you gotta go first. Yeah, please. So you're going to roll two um, extra dice? I like how so they I did that. So I get four dice. I like how they did that so people don't get screwed. Nice job. Two successes. Nice. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's and then we, we have to do this as well. Yeah. So I get four dice. Nice. nice I get six dice. Jesus. Don't fuck this up, Justin. Actually, I get eight dice. I get four, two, and two. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, see how many stars I get. Nice. So good at this thing. So, location 18. Without rolling the time cap and die. So the time cap doesn't change? No, it does. It's now me. Sad. Yeah, I'll take this one if you want to do these ones. As you emerge from the water, you find yourself in a vast room lit by a fire, resting in, finely crafted basin, in a finely crafted basin carved out of stone. Frescoes on the walls. Frescoes? Frescoes on the walls, half erased by wear and tear of time, depict a battle between winged beings. Near the fire, a woman sitting on her throne invites you to join her. At the back of the cave is an old tomb surrounded by moving shadows. When you leave this location, resume the adventure by everyone moving to location five. 
JK Benba, thanks so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Welcome to the goddamn table. How's it going? So this one was a stone statue? No, or she's a, person? a woman. I'm going to talk to her. Uh, I have done lots of diplomacy. Sure. I oh, guess, you fucking idiot. I guess I'll go to whatever the hell that is. This cool tomb. Yeah, I like tombs. Is it Iwa? Um, come closer. My name is Iwa. Hey, Iwa. But I go by the name of Mother. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. But first, you must free my um, daughters who were so snatched from me. if I have that, if I succeeded that, does that put that down? Automatically, yes. Sweet. If you, if you even attempt it. I'm going to. Discard item 17. We don't have it, I don't think. We don't have 17? No. Shit. Um, if we had 17, we can immediately reveal that. Nice. Caitlin's doing something over here, though. Sounds, sounds good. I'm just going to try to open the tomb. Uh, so she wanted her, us to release her daughters. Oh, yeah, she didn't really this. say where. Maybe they're in here. Dice, please. Do I need to... I guess I need to spend a time unit to do this. Yes. Well, we're going to move over here to us. What, what kind of test is it? Uh, that you can do it this time? It's dexterity. Cool. Well, we'll it's I'll two, come. It's two of it's these. Two, Mike, yeah. you should stay here just in case we can trigger this. Boom! Oh, never mind. She got it. What do we get? We get item number 16. Oh, it's so close to 17. So close. A sword. A sword! I got a sword! Inside the tomb, you see a magnificent sword and a scabbard tracked by furious and restless spirits. Um, okay, so fight on the sea space of this location to keep and use this item. Oh! The few engravings on the sword reveal that it belonged to Theodomir, the lost Visigoth king of Spain. Cancels the results of ever of two skulls on each one of these things. So she's looking. So she we need to free her daughters that were snatched from her. As a reward, I'll give you the means to enter. So that's what I don't remember if seventeen is. So we need to find her daughters. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you think sword. the black guards? No, we gotta get the sword. It stays with us. Oh well, then. We have it then. No, we have to earn the sword. How do we earn it? We have to fight, fight for the, the sword. We have to fight the sword. Now, we have so little time units left. Is it worth using oh, I still, again? But I still get an action. I still, I, if you moved over here, that was your action. Oh, I guess I stayed the last turn. No, you didn't. If, if, okay, then if you stay here, then this is your action. Now Caitlin and I get a fight. Yes, I say use it on the skull. I thought, oh. I thought you moved over here to do that. Oh, no, you, I, so I moved with you. Is that what we're saying? Is that, well, did you move with us or did you stay? I'll say we moved with you. Okay. So then the fight, Caitlin goes first. Okay, uh, I get another die, please. There you go. Nice. Got there. The sword is yours. Yeah. Didn't have to. Didn't have to. All right, shall we return to location five? We have to. Yep. <laughs> I'm so good at rolling that no. time, Captain. No, 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 no. Pardon? That's not how we do that. Right? We don't move. We do these normal rules now. Oh, that's right. So One we're not. Second. I think we don't. When you, oh yeah, you just you just go. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Uh, J.K. Benbot. Uh, time units are they're basically like this track right in the center here. We've got this little token. <sighs> um, Doing things in this game costs time units, so you basically have a finite amount of time to do things. Um, and so it just any time that it takes us yeah. is less time we have to complete this mission. One, two. All right, we encountered these black guards. Did we? Yep. Shit. Yep. The black guards have caught up to you. About 20 howling horsemen throw themselves at you. Scimitars drawn and ready. Balls. Uh, it's a fight. Hey, Mike. Yep. How big a fight? Yeah. I That's would say huge. use this to be me. Are we on the same space? We are. We, we are. We're fighting some, some black guards. Yeah. Four, five. You travel using the new map as though you're at location five. Thank you so much. That was yeah. a demo. Yeah, sure. Bye. <laughs> Kayla, why don't you attack first? Mm-hmm. That'll Three, be one please. of our time units. We all got a roll on this, though. Yes. On this time unit. But I'd rather Caitlyn go first. So, Caitlyn, you'll take one damage and we spend one time uh, unit. No, I will not. I cancel two results. Skulls. Oh. This is from this. Oh, but we don't, we're out of time. 
Oh, because this has a time unit. Yep. Right. Balls. Bob's voice echoes in your head. Do you copy? I'm going to actually we're gonna start a new recording for this next one. Uh, Bob's relaunch pro control protocol. Grrr, agent, bzz, your mission has got you out of control. You're stuck in your receptacles. We can't get you back to the agency. We still have a hold on the transfer of time. The TDD must have screwed something up. We're trying to fix all this mess as quickly as possible. For the time being, new run. Grrr. Okay. Keep your receptacles as well as their items. Okay. And restore to the starting amount of health and ability points. Oh, sweet. Like it. Like it a lot. Also for your allies. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Discard. Oh. Mm -hmm. Discard any of these items. These what? ones actually go. Oh, what a waste. And all state tokens, which I think are these things. Right? These are state tokens. That makes sense, right, Mike? Yep. So when you cannot move the time tracker, that's what we're doing right now. We've got a mission failed time. Reset our faith. Um, card, and so this is basically telling us how to reset because we failed our mission because we ran out of time. We restart with 20 time units. I thought we restarted with 30. Nope. nope. And if we do this again, we go with 30. No! Alright, well we're going to cancel this recording and you will find more of a Lumen Fadai coming up on our YouTube channel. But if you're watching live, it's we're fine. not stopping. Just, just hang out. <laughs>